Hey everyone, my name is Benji. Welcome to my channel. Here, I talk about my journey in learning PCB design, electronics, and a bunch of other stuff through building a modular synthesizer system. In this video, I'd like to talk about a workshop that I did a couple of days ago. There's a gallery here in San Pablo called Color Commune, and they were holding a music and arts festival. It featured performances by me and my friends, as well as a couple of bands. There were also exhibits by a couple groups of artists. Some of my photos were featured in the exhibit as well. I was also invited to do a workshop, which is perfect for me because last year I made the synth card. It's my PCB-based business card that I designed with the purpose of trying to get people into building synthesizers or electronics in general. So this was the perfect opportunity. I already did a video on how to build the synth card. So in this one, I'll talk about what I've learned from conducting that workshop. I'd also like to show you how nice this venue looks. First, let me tell you about the first sponsor of this video, which is PCBWay. They've been sponsoring my printed circuit boards ever since I started designing Eurorack modules. They also provided a bunch of these synth cards that I was able to use in the workshop. You can order copies of the synth cards straight from their website. I'll add the link in the description. Thank you very much PCBWay for always supporting my projects. The workshop was in the afternoon, so I had some time to set things up. I got there at around 8.30. Right after unpacking my stuff, I set up my synth to give the place some music. I went ahead and prepared my stage setup. I basically brought my workbench with me, so my setup time took a while. I even brought my microscope to give them a close-up of what I've been doing on stage. Because this is my first electronics workshop, I decided to limit the number of participants to 10. More people signed up than I expected. Good thing I brought some spare parts. Some of them had to share soldering irons though. For each station, I set up a synth card, a printout of the bill of materials, complete with photos that they can use as reference, a bag of the part, some wire cutters, and of course, some soldering irons and some solder provided to me by Maker Lab Electronics, who were very kind enough to sponsor the workshop on very short notice. They've been my go-to electronics store here in the Philippines. They're also where I get my 3D printing supplies, like my filament and even my Ender 3. Give them a like on Facebook and Instagram. They've been really supportive of me. Thank you very much, Maker Lab Electronics. Now, back to the workshop. We went through my standard process of building any PCB-based module. I went through this in my synth card video, but it's generally about starting with the flatter components first and then make your way up to the taller ones. We went through all the components, such as resistors and then the ICs one by one. It took us about two hours, which I think is good considering that I had to touch up some solder joints and even flip some ICs that were soldered on the wrong way. After the workshop, I made them plug the synth cards into my Eurorack, which I think was really fun because they got to play with the modules that they built. That evening, after my live set, I made them go up on the stage with me and we did a little synth card orchestra where 
where I made them plug into a DIY mixer that I built the night before. And then we did this little game where I made them follow my hand gestures with the synth cards. <laughs> it was a really short performance but I had fun with it. I think they did too. After my set, there were also performances by my friends Mark Rambo. Alan, also known as Mantiu. Check them out on Instagram. They are also synth DIYers. Now let's talk about the things that I've learned during this workshop. First, I think the microscope was a really great idea. It made it really easy to show people what I've been doing on my build. One thing that we struggled with was the orientation of the ICs. Some of them soldered the ICs backwards, so I had to desolder the 555 timers and then I made them solder the ICs back the right way. Good thing I brought a decent soldering pump. I have this one from Engineer Tools. In hindsight, I should have made them use IC sockets so it would be easier to correct. I think the bomb with the photos was also a really good idea. Bringing a mic stand also would have been nice, considering I was using both my hands during the demos. I also should have gotten a camera operator to help me document the event. I was so busy, I barely had time to shoot some footage. Overall, I had a great time. i definitely do that again. If you've been following me for a while now, you'd know that I always like it when people start building. Thanks again, Color Commune, for inviting me to do this workshop. If you'd like to design your own synth card, all of my files are open source and you can find them on my GitHub page. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.